Hey there everyone, um, if you've ended up on this video, you're curious about the new uh, feature added in the Overwatch test server, it's called Enable High Precision Mouse Input, I'm gonna have it off to show off the point here, um, oops, wrong button. I have two macros, but this is the only important one, as you can see, it moves the mouse relative x100, so that being a positive number, it means it will move to the right. Presses left mouse, uh, total two millisecond delay, um, one millisecond down, one millisecond up, and then moves an additional 100. So it'll basically do that, right? But it'll do it really fast, and it's supposed to fire in between. The other macro I was talking about, why it's irrelevant, is it just moves my mouse 100 to the left for easy positioning, right? Now, the thing is, right? So if I go back 100 that's on it, it should have landed, it didn't, right? It's shooting on the other side. And it does this most of the time. Sometimes it lands in the center and actually shoots when it's supposed to, but that's part of the problem. It is extremely inconsistent, right? Which is just bad for a competitive shooter. But now that we've turned on the feature, shoots it in the head, reposition, shoots it in the head, right? Head, head, right? Head, head. So shoots in the middle when it's supposed to. Can't really do it too well on those reliably. Where it's supposed to, where it's supposed to, supposed to, right? So yeah, this feature is actually huge and Answers a lot of questions to me why Overwatch aim always felt weird. Like, really weird. Like, something was off, especially when I played other games. And this answers it. They were using some sort of internal polling rate. Talking and shooting at the same time is actually kind of difficult when I'm not even paying attention to what I'm shooting at. But the point is, it feels a lot better, right? Because I would commonly have issues where I would drag across somebody, right? And ideally, you want to hit them in the center, right? Not, once again, not trying that terribly hard, but trying to do the movements to point it out, right? So, but what would happen is, say you're moving, you're moving real fast, and even though you think you clicked at the right time, right? The game may register your shot somewhere else. So I would regularly end up shooting on the side of enemies. This seems to prevent that from happening. So far, every single time I've done the macro test on a bot, it is consistently, 100% of the time, shot when it was supposed to, where it was supposed to. Whereas, if you saw without the setting on, it didn't. So hopefully this answers any questions. Uh, hopefully, I, I forgot, I accidentally left the macro screen up there, but it shouldn't matter, you can see my crosshair clearly, so... But, uh, yes, I do not recommend using macros for regular gameplay. Wrong button. Uh, they're likely to get you banned in most games. So, don't do it. The only reason I'm using it here is for testing purposes. I will probably end up deleting the macro after this video because it serves no purpose. But, yeah. That goes to show... Actually, I could save it and use it in other games to test them out, see if they have a similar problem. But don't use macros, but hopefully this goes to show how important the new setting really is. I'm going to call this good. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.